Welcome to my channel. Before we proceed to our crochet baby shoes tutorial, if it's your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button in order to get notified every time we upload videos. Materials that we need for this crochet baby shoe tutorial are yarn, crochet hook, scissors, embroidery lace or ribbon, needle and thread. So first of all make a chain of 11 Now we will do double crochet into next 10 stitches of the chain starting from the second stitch which means that we will leave the first stitch and start from the second loop. For double crochet, yarn over, insert, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops and pull through two loops again. If you don't know double crochet and this tutorial seems faster to you, you can always watch our double crochet tutorial for which I have given link in the description of this video. So in total, we have done 10 double crochet stitches. Now in order to give it a round shape from here, we need to do 7 double crochet in the last stitch. Now you can see it has taken a round shape from here. Now we will do one double crochet in the next seven stitches along the row. At the end again, to give it a round shape, do 3 double crochet in the 7th stitch which is the last stitch. One I have done, so doing the remaining 2 now. End the first round by joining it to the first double crochet of the row where we started from through a slip stitch. We are done with the first round here for the baby sandal sole. Now we'll start the second row of the sole. Make a chain of two. Initially for this area, we do two double crochet so that it has a round curve here. So do two double crochet in the first four stitches.
In this crochet baby sandal tutorial, we are going to make an evenly shaped sole so it will not be narrow from the sole side as we do in our regular crochet shoe sole. Hence, we'll have an even shape from sole as well as the toe side. Now, we'll do one double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches till the end of this side. Here in the 5 stitches around this end, we'll do 2 double crochet in each stitch so that it gives it a round shape. So you can see we did two double crochet in these five stitches. We usually do two double crochet until we have the last stitch aligned straight with the stitch in the row below. You can see it from here. Now we'll do one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches till the end of this side. As I told you earlier that in order to give it a round shape we need to do two double crochet in each of the ending stitches. So we'll be doing two double crochet in these last two stitches. We'll now close the second row through a slip stitch in the first double crochet of this row. So that's how we have completed two rows and now we'll make the last row. Since it's a newborn size, we won't make the sole wider. So we'll do half double crochet in our last row. Starting the third row of the sole, make a chain of two. For half double crochet, yarn over, insert, pull through, 
yarn over and pull through 3 loops. Since we are going to give it a round shape here, do half double crochet in each of the first 4 stitches. If you don't know how to half double crochet and this tutorial seems faster to you, you can always watch our half double crochet tutorial for which I have given a link in the description of this video. One half double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. half double crochet in each of the next 7 stitches to give it a round shape. One half double crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. Two half double crochet in each of the last three stitches to give it a round shape. Close the third and the last row through a slip stitch into the first half double crochet of the row. Snip off the yarn. and embed it underneath the sole so that it's not visible.
make two similar soles of the same size. Now we'll attach a lace to make the front of the shoe. You can use a lace of your choice and color. Sew it using a needle and a thread. Use the lace length as per the size of the baby foot. We will attach a lace to sides of the sole for a sole support. Cut it into two pieces as long as the length of the sole. attached to the sides as demonstrated in the video. Use needle and thread to attach or you can also use glue to attach it.
Now we'll make a chain of 100 for lacing up the baby shoe. Snip of the yarn. Now we'll make tassels for the ends of the shoelaces. Wrap the yarn around the fingers as shown in the video. I had 7 rounds you can increase or decrease as you require. Tie to the end of the chain that we have made as shown in the video. Make another knot and tie it tight, as tight as possible. Cut the yarn from the ends of the tassel. You need to trim it more from the ends to give it a fine shape. Now make a tassel for the other end of the shoelace. Repeat the same pattern for this one as well. Now insert and pull through the shoelace, through the loops we made. Now we'll attach the other sole underneath the sole we just worked upon. I have used needle and thread, you can also use glue to attach both the soles. So both the soles finely from the edges throughout the sole.
I have tried my level best to make it as simple as possible. Hope you like the video. If you have any comments or queries, please do let us know. Thank you for watching. Please do let us know in comments if you like the video.